Hey, so neighbors, this is Super Zamiga Barbecue, and today we finally got something to make a video about. Oh boy, the supercar gods have graced me with content to actually make for this game because it has been a bit barren, hasn't it? Yes. Literally, Baron. Baron, <laughs> I actually didn't even think about that one. And I'm never going to say no to a free fusion. Because anyone who gets that far is going to get themselves something. Potentially, you just stick it in there for a SummerSlam 18 fusion, you're good. We actually got a guy in who's at really low level, so that's going to really benefit him. Sticks it in the fusion chamber, gets himself a SummerSlam 18, not 19, 19, and he's going to get himself something good. We're not focusing on that today, though. We are focusing on some brand new packs and that we finally got matchup man randy savage randy orton and some updates about season six event changes i've been speaking about them in previous videos but we're going to talk about what supercard about to say on that part start off by saying if you exist because if you don't exist then you're a ghost watching this video and that's quite creepy smack that like man subscribe to the channel if you breathe oxygen and turn your notifications on if you love it. That's even if you hate it. Turn your notifications on. Anyway, comments in the comment section. Let me know how you got on, the, on not only Road to Glory, but Team Road to Glory. And your thoughts on these brand new packs that have showed up. A wonder bundle. Which we're going to be opening very, very soon. And you'll see it for yourself. It's a pretty damn good pack. Let's start off, however, with Macho Man Randy. Randall Savage and another Randall Randy Savage or a Savage Randy. We've got Randy Savage and a Savage Randy because we've got Randy Orton to pro and Randy Savage to pro. I've looked at the differences to compare the two event cards together. Uh, not so the two event cards, the three event cards together. And usually I would wait, but I can't bother to wait. So I'm just going to go and uh, pro it up. I leveled my Ricochet as Toughness, Speed and Charisma. So I'm going to go the same with uh, my Randy Savage. So we're going to go Toughness, Speed, and Charisma. And then we're going to go Toughness, Speed, and Charisma. So that's all of the tokens done. For my Randy Orton, it's going to be uh, real simple. Power, Speed, Toughness. And then we just got to do the ones on here. Power, Speed, Toughness. And he'll make my deck. Biggie will also make my deck, but not for long. And we've got Giants Unleashed coming up this week. Uh, hopefully we'll find out today what the event card is. I'm expecting it to be a female, but I could be wrong. Maybe they've got this amazing idea. I mean, I'm not sure who would give them this idea. Uh, that doing a female in Last Man Standing every every tier is a good idea. That's a fantastic one. That's, that's not a good idea at all. Uh, we're going to just check the team deck, which... Uh, Oh, it's coming. Oh, it's coming. I can't wait to make that guy lose. Uh, we're just wait, work, working out dates at the moment. He's been really, really, really busy. So just working out dates. But with NXT going live on USA Network, it's a little bit different, difficult at the moment to get everything tied down. So it is going to happen. But from one Randy Savage to a Savage Randy, as I was saying, let's get Randy Orton proed. Done, baby. And we get a ticket for it as well. Sweet. But like a ticket like Lacey Evans got. Who saw that? That was freaking awesome. I love the fact that she stayed in character. And obviously she would have got the permission of the uh, the, the policeman doing it. Because otherwise that would have been stupid. But she was, uh, she was, uh, she's an amazing heel. The fact that she's, despite having limited in-ring ability. The fact that she's killing it off cam is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Let's go and uh, combine... Savage Randy to Randy Savage. There we go. Full heroic. And if it's a male superstar this week, unless, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do. If, if it's easy to get the points required and it's a ring domination the following week, of course I'm going to go for the heroic pro. However, if it, the points are high, I don't see a benefit to it. The only other reason I'd go for a heroic is if it was either a full heroic would be if it's a female. Alternatively, it's like a special 2k20 card like Roman Reigns or something. I don't know. Uh, anyway, let's uh, click off this and let's lock in the Savage Randy. And then we're good to go. We just got to train some cards into it. 
I am actually getting my card count down ready for season six. Talking about season six, ah, nice little integration there. Um, bye bye, Ricochet, by the way. Bye bye. Uh, we have actually had an update regarding the events from WWE Supercard. Now, some people were really annoyed, and you know what? I do not blame them about everything that went on the last week. I actually was really frustrated with the fact that they didn't do anything about the Road to Glory. However, we have had a response back from WWE Supercard about that, and it does, as we expected, uh, lead towards hints that season six is going to have some event changes and it says a note for those who competed in our special events last week we wanted to try new takes on familiar events some of it landed and we've got ideas going forward there's the season six stuff thanks for reaching out with your thoughts and giants unleashed will be a normal event this week so that confirms pretty much without looking into it too much that it's for future events which basically is season six and the, whatever the next game is it is going to feature some of these changes in it let's go and put in ah oh, just looks amazing absolutely freaking amazing being totally honest i think that the ring the, the road to glory was an absolute disaster absolute disaster it absolutely needed to change and it didn't change and quite frankly i think that the guys at Supercard should have changed it. And by not changing it, I think they've let a lot of people down. And at this point in the season, you don't want to be making things harder. You want to be making things easier. Let me know in the comments section below what you think. I apologize if I'm, I sound bunged up. I, I'm really not well at the moment. So fingers crossed I get better real soon because it, it sucks right now. Wonder Bundle has popped up and this is very similar to another pack that showed up in either WrestleMania 35 or Cataclysm, which showed up towards the end of a tier, yet we still don't know what's going on. No sign of throwback or Hall of Fame cards. Hopefully by the beginning of October, which is next Monday, we'll have some idea of where this game's going, when the new season's gonna drop, because at the moment it's, it's all up in the air. Um, we keep getting little tiny hints like this pack, this Wonder Bundle, which includes Money in the Bank contracts, uh, 200 League points, 1,000 Battle points. You know, this, the, these packs are fantastic. The, for 379, which is a really odd cost. I've just realized that. Why is it 379... Is that a secret hint? Maybe. Hmm. Someone work that out in the comments, please. 379. Uh, yeah. That's a really weird number of... Hmm. I'm not going to ponder on it too much, but if anyone else can work it out, then you are welcome. The first one I'm going to claim on here. So I'm just going to take a quick screenshot of some stuff. And then we're going to open up 379. Let's go. So this is the first pack. It comes with uh, the couple. It's two males, two females going up to Summer Sound 19. Two supports and two enhancements doing the same thing. Let's open it up. I've seen some people get uh, enhancements and supports. Let's see if we can get anything good. So we've got ourselves a Shadow Power. Uh, a Summer Sound 18 table. 500 contracts. Now up to 71,500. With that grind. 200 league points. Very welcome. Uh, Asuka Goliath. Uh, Mick Foley, WrestleMania 34. Yep, yep, yep. A thousand battle points. Very welcome again. And the Goliath toughness. That first pack wasn't so great. Let's do the other two whilst we're here. 379. Still really mystified by that. Let's go and grab maybe a Summer 19 card. Maybe we'll get one. No, 200 league points. Again, very, very welcome. These are the kind of packs you want to be buying. If you if you get credits in game, these are the kind of packs you want. A thousand battle points. If you got anything good, by the way, in this, then please do let me know. Uh, Gothic, that's the best one we've got so far. Best card so far. Woo! That's an enhancement. <laughs> 379. Last one. Let's go. Let go. Uh, we got Nia Jax. Neon. Cataclysm. Wow, okay. We've got, got some decent cards here. Uh, okay, we don't have it. Oh, so it's an enhancement. Uh, Kurt Angle! Woo! Rusev, 500. And here comes the 1,000. And then we got the leak points at the end. 
Sweet. So let me know again what you think about the events changing. And we got that those packs open. That's an extra 1,500 contracts, 3,000 BP, and 600. I'd have to go back and check when the last ones happened. Because it was, I think, either WrestleMania 35 or it was end of Catac or end of Cataclysm tier. I'm not sure when. I, I think it was WrestleMania 35 going into Cataclysm that they brought that pack out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Just, just hold it. Science just dropped in. Alistair Black is this week's event card. Just going to show it on screen. The reason I didn't just put it on screen and just let you guys react to it in the comment section is actually because there is a possibility. There is a big possibility that we may have already had the reveal of whoever the next event card is going to be. In the two ways to win, it just so happens that every single event card that's been in the Velveteen Dream Experience event, Macho Man Randy Savage, Ricochet, now Alistair Black, great image by the way, surprised it wasn't a female yet. But if it's following this pattern, that tells me that the next event card might, just might be, Tyler Breeze. Maybe we'll have to wait and see. But that was just a little thing I wanted to drop in there. Potential spoiler of the next event card afterwards. But again, I'm uh, a little bit perplexed as to if they're going to be carrying this on into November. Why they've kind of separated a tier like this. But yeah, I'm going to get back to the end of the video now. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Comments down below. Go. Anyway, I've been Super Zombie Barbecue. You have been awesome. Thank you all so much for taking the time to watch the video. If you exist, please let me know by smacking the like button. Does that even make sense? If you breathe oxygen, subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on, especially with all the amazing 2K20 WWE Supercard and more coming to the channel very, very soon. That's really cringy. I will see you soon. One last thing, and that is to... Zombie! Yeah, yeah, yeah.